And here's the latest from the Joy Typhoon Awardee Centre read the uh, Typhoon Buffy uh, CO9W currently located 290 nautical miles south south west of Kansan or Koon San Air Force Base, South Korea, tracking north northwest at eight knots over the last six hours. Animated enhanced infrared satellite imagery depicts gradual weakening of the outer spiral banding. However, the system remains a compact eye wall surrounding a small 10 nautical mile eye, which supports the initial position with high confidence. An 89 gigahertz composite image indicates an eye wall replacement cycle with the inner eye wall beginning to erode and outer eye wall forming. The UW Sims MPERC product also depicts the two eye walls. However, the probabilities remain low at about 10%. The initial wind radii has been adjusted based on a detailed analysis of the ASCAT A image. Upper level conditions favourable for development with robust poleward outflow, load of moderate vertical wind shear, sea surface temperatures 29 to 30 Celsius remains conducive. The initial intensity remains assessed at 95 knots based on an average of subjective fallback intensity estimates of T5, 90 knots, and an ADT estimate of 5.3 to 5.7, roughly 95 to 105 knots. The typhoon is tracking poleward along the western periphery of the deep layered subtropical ridge positioned to the east. The typhoon will continue to track poleward over the next 48 hours along the western periphery of the burning steering ridge to the east with the exception of the sole outliner AFUI Numical model guidance is in tight agreement through the next 36 hours with a 47 nautical mile spread in solutions at the 36 hour mark. Additionally, the ECMWF ensemble solutions are also in good agreement, reflecting a high confidence, low uncertainty forecast track. There is some potential for slight intensification over the next 12 hours as the eye wall replacement cycle completes and the outer eye wall contracts. However, by the 24 hour mark the system will begin extra tropical transition as it interacts with the mid latitude southwesterly flow. CO9W will gradually weaken as the system encounters cooler sea surface temperatures 28-25 Celsius over the northern Yellow Sea. Strong vertical wind shear after 24 hours and should complete extra tropical transition by the 48 hour mark as it gains frontal characteristics and Nears the JET and there's high confidence in the center's track. And it's currently located 32 decimal 4 degrees north, 124 decimal 5 degrees east. Maximum sustained winds 100 knots, gusting 125 knots. Knots. This is over water and 169 nautical miles east northeast of Shanghai, China, 
and as mentioned tracking north northwest at 11 knots this is over the last six hours maximum significant wave height 35 feet and please uh, continue to uh, monitor the various streams that Nathan has in motion at this point in time. Thank you for watching this production of Force 13. For more information on Force 13 Australia, you can check us on all of our outlets. Our website, 413.com where we are overhauling the website and writing new articles for your reading pleasure. We're also on YouTube, keyword Force13AU. You're probably there already. Good to answer that. If you are, hit that like and subscribe button to keep getting updates like this one coming to your mailbox. We're also on Facebook, keyword Force13 where we post our updates and keep an eye out for our live coverage on there as well. And we're on Twitter, keyword Force13AU. And if you want to rock our codes, you can do so by way of our store, or you can continue to the project directly by way of Patreon. More information can be found at patreon.com forward slash force13. And you can reach out to us on Skype at force13, or directly to us at aussie underscore weather 01 at extension 6388 on Discord, or you can join our server with our new link at discord.gg forward slash force13.